A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. As the eleven were eating supper, he appeared and took them to task most severely for their stubborn unbelief, refusing to believe those who had seen him raised up. Then he said, Go into the world, go everywhere and announce the message of God's good news to one and all. Whoever believes and is baptized is saved, whoever refuses to believe is damned. These are some of the signs that will accompany believers. They will throw out demons in my name. They will speak in new tongues. They will take snakes in their hands. They will drink poison and not be hurt. They will lay hands on the sick and make them well. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. Truth without love is brutality. Today is the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, as well as the conclusion of the week of prayer for Christian unity. The Gospel brings us the mission mandate of the risen Christ for our reflection, prayer and action. In his zealous dedication to the Jewish faith, Saul was prepared to do whatever it took to uphold his religious beliefs and traditions, even to the point of believing that anyone who differed from the Jewish faith and practices did not deserve to live. There are many souls in our church and communities today who are so passionate about their convictions and believe that they are the only custodians of truth. The Catechism of the Catholic Church is based on sacred scripture, tradition and the magisterium of the Church to help the faithful to grow in love for the Lord and the Church. But our Catechism and liturgy would become counterproductive if we rigidly adhere to the rules and regulations without taking into account charity and justice. The liturgy without charity is a sin. Truth without love is brutality. On the feast of the conversion of Saul into Paul, we are reminded to do away with our own fanaticisms and call for a conversion from our stiff-necked behavior. We need the light of Christ to illumine our eyes of faith, to accept the differences in the other, and to love them despite their differences. We are challenged by the occasion of the week of prayer for Christian unity. Can Christians of different denominations gather around the same table to pray, praise and share the word of God and together profess our faith in the one Lord? Every believer in Christ shares in the mission of Christ to announce the good news of Jesus to every creature that we are not alone, the Lord is with us. Let our lives be a sign for our brothers and sisters of God's presence in their lives. <laughs> 